what have I learned from this situation so that it uh, 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 does not happen again? That's what failure should mean for you. Not sticking your head down and going, oh, I'm thinking about constant failure. I'm talking about learning from your experiences, whether positive or negative, because they teach you a hell of a lot. They teach you in life what to do. Sometimes the question is there, but we never ask it. The question is there, but we never ask it. Or we get deviated like that meeting I told you about where this person went in, they started having chocolate biscuits and laughing and joking. If they'd have concentrated on that, there would be no outcome. That £90,000 debt would not have been collected. So the word failure, coming back to, means failure means learning. There is no such thing as failure, but only learning. That's what I believe. Not put your head down and think about it. Constantly thinking about what you did wrong or how you did wrong. There is only such thing as learning. So how would your life change if your communication changed? I've just given you an example of how you think. How you think and what you say. Neuro, to do with the brain. Linguistics, how we speak. Programming, the nerves in the brain, neuro, the, the neural connections, so we can think outside the box and do things very easily outside the box. So how would your life change if your communication changed? If you learn to communicate a bit more better, some people don't know how to communicate better and therefore fail to communicate more resourcefully and it's because they're frustrated people get frustrated and they act out because they don't know how to communicate but i'm telling you now if you could change your communication you could change what you're inputting and what you're getting out so your input of communication internally what comes out externally will change the quality of your life. What won't happen if your communication changes? Bit of a linguistic pattern here. What won't happen if your communication changes? For the better, not for the worse. Asking the right questions for the better, not for the worse. Why should you learn to master communication? Why should you learn to master good communication? What prevents you from developing masterful communication? What is preventing you right now from getting some really good personal development? What is preventing you in becoming proficient? You go to any professional and you will find if you go to any accomplished champion or any accomplished professional and you watch what they do and I'll tell you one thing now you don't become a champion just by watching people or by eating pizzas and watching kung fu movies see I remember a one time one time a person said to me I watch uh, my version of training would be watching kung fu movies drinking a can of beer and eating pizzas that isn't going to make you proficient in martial arts, is it? Or in training, is it? Or in physical training? What do you need to do? You need to actively participate. So whatever you're trying to improve, you've got to look to practice what you want to improve. Don't you want to become a better communicator? Don't you want to lead your teams more efficiently? Do you get nervous sometimes when you talk in front of a group? What do you say to yourself on the inside when the group is in front of you? How can you become more effective 
in reaching and influencing people. How can you do that? And also, if you have failed, what are you now learning? Do you realize that learning is an ongoing process that's going to improve you to become the optimum communicator? Are you the best version of you? That's my conversation with you. Are you the best version of you or could you be better? I don't think I'm the best version of me. I think I can be even better. And I think it's an ongoing, it's an ongoing practice that I need to keep on going with. You will never become fully learned. What could you improve right now? Maybe your job hunting skills. Maybe you're wanting to become more ambitious to provide for your family. What could you improve right now? Maybe you want to be a better martial artist. What could you improve? And how are you going to improve it? Maybe you've got a health issue. What could you improve? How are you going to improve it? Maybe you're looking to lose a little bit of weight. How could you improve that scenario? What could you do right now? Just some thoughtful questions there for you. All right, now before I wrap up, I'm going to go through a little bit of information with you and uh, then we're going to wrap up after this. Okay, so uh, and neuro linguistic programming is all about motivating yourself and others. Yes, you heard it right, motivating yourself and others. That means you first. In order for you to motivate someone, you've got to be motivated. If you look at someone and they've got no energy whatsoever, what do you do? You look at them and they look at you and you and, and if you're if you're half asleep or you like a a wet lettuce, are they gonna be motivated? Are they? Well the answer to that question is no they're not. So you gotta have something about yourself. If you're telling me you're a motivator, if you're coming on an interview and you're speaking to me and you're telling me uh, and you're looking to work for my team, and you say to me, I'm a motivator, and you go, I'm a motivator, that's not going to sell it to me. What kind of tone are you using? Are you a motivator? you got to learn to motivate from the inside out. Then you can motivate others. And I'm telling you now, the best motivators are not the ones that have gone to university. So despite having gone to university, it won't make you a motivator. It will give you some intellectual knowledge, but you do you know how to practice with it. All right, so the art of NLP is all about motivating yourself and others, communicating effectively, think positively, creating actions to make a difference creating actions to make a difference. Now these guys that created this system looked at some of the best communicators in the world and they studied them and they studied how how easily they communicated. They studied how effective they were. They studied tapes and tapes and tapes of people. You see, you only need to get better, you only need to see someone and model yourself on that someone and see how they are doing so good. What are they doing? And you copy what they do and you find that you'll get similar results. That's what this is all about. So neuro, neuroscience, learn it. Neurolinguistics. Learn neurolinguistics. Come on our program. Attend the session. I know we do this online, but if you want to do it, with us on session feel free to connect with myself so i want to thank you very much for listening in today uh, it has been a privilege talking to you uh, and i want to say why not consider making an improvement i want you to think about three things three things in your life that you can improve right now by the way Ankit, thank you very much. From Birmingham. Okay, are you from Birmingham? Yeah, Beam. Okay, all right, yeah. Um, yeah, so think about three things that you can improve. Write them down. What three things could you improve? 
What three things can you improve? That's a bit of homework for you. Think about what three things can you improve for yourself to improve the quality of your life. Training for employment and personal development, Vikas Chopra. Thank you very much for listening in. I hope you're having a wonderful evening tonight. And I hope you continue to have your wonderful evening. And I look forward to seeing you on Friday. Thank you. Over and out, Vikas Chopra. Goodbye.